Hi guys, today I'll be doing a wet installation of a screen protector on my Samsung Galaxy S8. Typically whenever you do get a screen protector that requires a wet installation, they give you a little spray bottle such as Gnome does here. Um, I do know that Invisible Shield by Zag does as well. But let's say you don't have one and this is a video to kind of explain what you can do with some things around the house. All you need is a little bit of dish detergent, a bowl of water, your screen protector, something you can use as a squeegee, your phone, make sure it's turned off, and a rag. Alright guys, so kind of fast forwarding a little bit, but I went ahead and I put in a couple drops of dish detergent into this bowl of water here, and then I took off the back side of the screen protector and just let it sit here for a little bit. And the next step is we got to make sure that the phone is clean and is prepped up to, to be used. If you had a screen protector on it before, you should be fine, but just in case, just give it a good wipe down. Alright, so the next part is you get your fingers a little bit wet in the water as well. Alright, and once you've done that, make sure your screen protector is also in, soaked in the water. And then you're going to bring it over to the phone, and you're going to line it up. The benefit of a wet install is that it's a lot easier to maneuver and make sure everything is lined up properly. And once you're happy with that, make sure that everything is lined up top. Alright, okay, everything's lined up at the bottom, okay, so after you're done with that, you take your squeegee, and then you just go ahead and push out all the excess water, alright, okay, we're going to wipe down the excess water off the sides here, One thing you do want to make sure of is that your screen protector does have a front side to it. And uh, that's because, you know, you're using a squeegee on it, so you don't want to scratch it up. Like, you, you might see these scratches going along right here. But that's only on the, co the, the, pr the cover that they put on the screen protector. So you want to make sure it has one so you're not damaging your screen or the cover underneath it. Alright. After we got all the water out, I'm just going to make sure we pad down one last time right here. Make sure it's all dried up. And then you're going to peel off the cover that they have on the screen protector. Alright. And there we go. So you are going to have a couple of bubbles for a day or two, but they do typically go away. And that's basically how you do a wet install. These bubbles and everything, just give them a couple minutes. Uh, push them out to the edges with your finger. And you should be good. Alright guys, so it's been a couple minutes now and the bubbles have started to go away. I did help push out some of the stragglers here. And... And we look to be good. You might notice these stains here and there. Um, that's from the soap. That will go away within a couple of days as well. Um, so typically the benefit of doing this um, was that when you use a film screen protector, uh, you run the risk of getting some kind of dust particles underneath and um, or some lint. And when we go ahead and we use the soap solution and um, we kind of squeegee everything out, it brings all the particles and all the lint or anything else that could be trapped underneath there, just kind of pushes out towards the edges. The other benefit is that you get to line it up. You know, once it's on, you get to line it up before you squeegee everything out to make sure everything's good. And, you know, even like with this phone, like once it's gonna, once it's gonna be dried out, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that it had something on it because everything is, you know, it, it looks quite professional even though you didn't pay the extra ten dollars to the guy at Best Buy. Um, but So just a couple things to keep in mind. This is the S8 Plus. It is a water resistant phone. If you're not using a water resistant phone, I would recommend using less of the water uh, just in case. I did do it on my S6. It worked completely fine. I've used it on other phones. I've never had any issues, but you got to be very careful with 
the water resistance of your phone. Um, new phones, most of them, IP67 and above, you should be completely fine. Um, but just kind of think about that. And if you don't want to risk it, um, get you know get a screen protector from a brand like Skinomi or Zag or you know um, one of those bigger brands that give you a detergent bottle to use, and you should be fine. And just follow their instructions very closely. If you guys got any comments or questions, just leave them down below and uh, let me know how I did. Thanks.